name is Joyce Hill, and I basically think of myself as a mixed media collage artist. I've done a lot of collage in my life, and I've never done anything quite this small before, but I wanted to challenge myself, and I have a little bit of a, a love of billboards. Being out west a lot, my, I have a daughter who lives out west, uh, I travel out there quite a bit, and you see a lot of billboards out west, more so than you do here. But the idea that people pay to put up advertising on a board up in the sky for you to look at as you're driving by kind of fascinated me. So I decided to start this series. This is the first in a series of works that I'm going to do on billboards. Uh, I got into learning a little bit about billboards, which I always like to learn a little bit about my subject matter before I do anything. Uh, I read some books on billboards and learned a lot. Uh, billboards started Surprisingly enough, in 1867, it was the first paid billboard. Uh, also, billboards are, were called billings, was what they called them in the beginning. They uh, started out as advertisements and worked into a lot of bigger corporations wanting to show their product on a billboard in a busy highway at a busy place so that people can see them. I liked the idea of doing something in miniature. I've never done anything really too small, and I thought it would be interesting to try, since most of my paintings are at least 24 by 36, I just thought, I have to try something in miniature. So I had my husband, who helped me make the actual frames, uh, with my help, he was better at the mechanical part than I, helped me make the, make the frames for the billboards, and then to come up with the ideas, uh, I have a tendency when I read a paper to read headlines. And if it interests me, I look at the subject matter and I'll say, okay, I'll read the article. If it doesn't interest me, I pass it right by. But I checked out papers a little closer for headlines and things that were happening that were current, things that would interest me to read further. And these first three billboards started out as that idea of actually headlines in the paper. Uh, I took the headline and I decided on what I could create with the idea, not, not always what they were talking about and what was going on uh, in the article when you read it, but more of what I wanted to say about the subject matter. Uh, they are most, mostly out of collage and photo transfers. Uh, I started doing tra photo transfers about 15 years ago I have a love of photography, uh, mainly for my college days. So I started to try to use more photo transfers and more of uh, images in my work. And most of my paintings, if you've ever seen any of my work, is a combination of photo transfers and painting and collage. The idea that I could take something, an idea, and make it small was very, was the big thing to me. And so I started with these three billboards. Um, this one, I'll start with this one over here, is about space. It's called To the Moon and Back, which was the headline on a Life magazine in the 50s and the 60s. Uh, that's where I got the headline out of that one. My father's company, uh, which is based in North Tonawanda, did a lot of work for the space uh, industry. Uh, a lot of things uh, to do with the space shuttle and going up in space. And uh, when it first started out, they were interested in going to the moon. And I always was fascinated with my dad talking about the stories of going, you know, getting something on the space uh, station or on the launch pad, which is what they eventually did, and launch something up in space. I thought that was a very intriguing idea. So the first one I did was about space. And I also uh, incorporated some metals in this one. Um, my dad had some metals that actually came from uh, the space uh, station. And so some of these metals, these little pieces of metals he gave me, so they are actually in the piece. Um, some of the photographs um, I, I got from magazines and other ones I actually uh, got, uh, took myself. So, and then this part in here is a drawing that I did that just kind of worked with the idea of space. 
uh, the people and the cars, the cars are matchbox cars that I spray painted that I had, and the people are, um, are small people that usually end up in railroad uh, setups for railroad uh, showings of you know, trains. And so I bought them and combined them with the idea because I didn't want the billboards just to stand by themselves. I wanted them to be interacting with people, which in the next ones I do, people are really going to be interacting with them, much more so than they do here. Uh, the tiles, these are actually on tiles that I spray painted that are from my studio. So it's kind of a personal thing in there too, it actually being the floor of my studio. Uh, I like the idea that um, Paul Walls did with showing the lights and the reflections. I think that's really, I never thought about that, but I eventually am going to do some with lights. Those are my next grouping that I'm going to do. So I'm planning on doing in the future, like have a whole set of these, and then I'm also painting larger paintings to do with the idea of billboards and uh, advertising. This one over here is to do with, um, again, with uh, the 1920s. I got the idea of the ma from the man that I picked up out of a magazine, and I kind of went with the idea of him traveling and the daily commute, kind of the comparison with somebody from the older era traveling with someone from, say, LA now trying to make their daily commute, which my daughter talks all about all the time because it takes her forever to get anywhere in LA. So that, that's what this one is about. It's mostly abstract, um, and there are a few photographs that I picked up, uh, and photo transfers also in this. Um, this is actually, this piece here, this white piece, is actually something I found on the street. A lot of times I find things on the street that I find interesting, and I'll put them in my works and things like that. Pieces of metal, or this actually is a piece of stone that I found on the, on the street. Uh, I like to, to walk down the streets, especially in LA or in a bigger city, and see what the people are doing and interacting with them and um, kind of seeing what the conversations are going. So I do take a lot of photographs of what people are doing on the street and what they, um, what they notice, what they look at. Um, so street, uh, street art uh, I, is always a love of mine, and I, I did a show a few years back on graffiti and street art, which I love. But this has sort of evolved into this now, um, from the street art idea into something still on the street, billboards, uh, and hopefully will be in the future because I find them kind of fascinating myself. Uh, this last one in America has to do with uh, voting and elections. This old photograph that's actually in it was taken um, from an older magazine again of the 1920s when they were fighting to get voting registration in. And so the, this actual, uh, these two, these people are kind of playing a tug of war against the, each other for voting rights. So I put that down as in America and headlined it like that. Uh, other than that, um, I'm planning on doing some more with social issues and with things I see in the paper and hopefully build like a whole, I'm, I'm thinking of at least 20 of these that I'm going to do, and then have uh, also some more um, street art and uh, visually uh, paintings on the wall that have to do with it also. Uh, it was a little bit of a challenge in a lot of respects because I, I've never actually glued some of these things, like this type of material, so as a collage artist, it was kind of a learning experience too. Um, building the bill, billboards and making everything work that it wouldn't be too heavy, that it wouldn't bowl over at me, that the people would stand up straight, and that the cars would look like they were really interacting with people on the street. Uh, I painted the cars white and the people white because I didn't want you to really notice the people. I wanted you to notice the billboards, but that the people were still interacting, they were still there, but they were kind of in the background. Um, and more about the, the billboards. So hopefully in the future I'll do more of these, and uh, I'm hoping, and uh, maybe someday show them somewhere, because I, I think that it's kind of a fascinating um, subject, and whether or not it's going to be around for much longer, I don't know, but if it's been around since 1867, it's probably going to be around a lot longer. So thank you very much.